So the first thing you must understand about this break and retest strategy is that the market can only go in three ways. It can either go up, down, or go sideways. Those are the only three ways the market can move in. And I want you to know that the market will never ever move up or down in a straight line like this. No, because what price will do is that in an uptrend, price will push up, retrace a little bit, push up, retrace a little bit and push up, creating your higher highs and higher lows. But the thing is, it does not look so perfect and nice all the time. Sometimes it will look more like this. Price will push up, retrace, push up again, retrace back to this same level, and then push up, go down, bam, 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 like that. So you must understand that these are two different patterns. So for this break and retest strategy, we are only gonna be focusing on clean price action, which is this one right here. Okay, that looks kinda ugly, which is this one right here. So the first thing is that you want to observe price breaking structure. So in this example, you can see price push up, retrace a little bit. So right here at this level, this is your structural high. Because price went up here before it starts retracing, this is what we call the structural high. But you do not want to enter for a buy here yet. You want to wait for price to break above this structural high and then come back down to retest it and then continue going up then that is when you can enter for the trade because this confirmed to you that this is a valid uptrend. So today, I'm going to teach you how to identify taking trades around this break and retest levels. So in a downtrend, you want to see price pushing down and break the previous structural low. And then you're going to wait for price to pull back to this key level for a retest and then enter for a sell when price continue to go down. So when price retest to a key level, there are some patterns that you must look out for before entering for the trade, which I'm gonna show you later because you just gotta be patient, all right? If you do not have the patience to watch till the end of this video, how do you have the patience to become a successful trader? Yep, so basically price will push and then retrace a little bit and then you will push against and break the previous structural low and you do not want to enter for a sell here yet because you want to wait for price to come back up to retest this same structural low and then continue to go down to confirm to you that this is a downtrend then that is when you can enter for the sell so this is your structural low right here and this is what we call the break retest and continuation. Here's a very, very important point. You only want to be trading when price is either in an uptrend or a downtrend. If the market is going sideways and there is no clear trend, do not trade. Trust me, you will lose a lot of money if you are trading when the market is going sideways just like this, especially if you are a beginner. And I have learned this lesson the hard way because in my first year, I will trade when price is going sideways like this and I will lose a lot of money. Oh, don't worry about it. I just lost $10,000 trading sideways market. Yup, you heard the man. So if you want to trade sideways market, go ahead and trade it at your own risk. But for me, I'm staying out, baby. The next thing you must understand is the different phases of the market. So when the market is pushing up like this, this is what we call a continuation. And then when price retraces or pullback, this is your exhaustion. So we are gonna be focusing on taking trades around this area because you want to enter when the exhaustion is over. So once you identify the patterns that you're gonna learn later at this area here, you will trade and continue the direction of the trend. So in the downtrend, this is your push phase, retrace is your exhaustion, and then push back down like this. This is your push phase, exhaustion, and push phase. So the whole concept of this strategy is that you want to find the exhaustion phase so that you can continue trading with the trend when it continue the push phase or the continuation phase. Now, let me show you the patterns that you must look out for before entering for a trade. I'm gonna show you two patterns for an uptrend and two patterns for a downtrend. I want you to look at what the candlesticks are doing. You have to understand that price cannot go up straight forever. At some point of time, the market will get tired and pull back. So you can see that price is pushing down here because this is the pullback in the overall uptrend. So this right here is your exhaustion phase. Now what you are looking for is the market to create indecision. So this doji candlestick 
right here show us indecision, which means that this pullback is ending. So price might continue with the overall uptrend now. Now look at the next green candle. It is a big fat juicy candle which show us that the buyers are back in the market and there is a very strong buying pressure now. This means that the market is done retracing and it's going to continue to go up. Now this is your second pattern. You can see that previously price has just been pushing down because this is your retracement. Remember in the overall uptrend, this is a retracement because price can never ever go up straight. So that is why we see big red candlestick, big red candlestick right here because price is retracing back down to this area here. Here. And then right here, this is when we start to see long wick candles. You can see there is multiple long wick candles, multiple candlestick rejections. So this is what we call multiple wick rejections. So what this tells us is that price is just rejecting this level because price went down to this area and then the buyers come in to push the price back up. So the sellers failed to push the price back down. So now the buyers are just pushing the price up. So over here, three times, there is three multiple week rejection. This tells us that this is a very strong area and price is going to continue to go up with the overall uptrend. Now those two patterns are for your uptrend. What about your downtrend? So in a downtrend, the patterns are pretty much the same, but just in like the opposite, right? So right here, the first pattern for your downtrend is that you can see that price has just been retracing, right? That's why it gave us these two green candles right here. But then right here, it gave us indecision, which tell us that, you know what? This retracement might be done. The market might continue to go down. So you can see like the next candlestick, it gave us a big fat red candlestick, which show us that there is a lot of selling pressure pushing the price down. So this means that the retracement is done and we're gonna head back down in the downtrend. So the next pattern is basically your multiple week rejections in a downtrend this time. You can see that price has just been retracing and then when price is around this area, it starts giving us multiple long week candles, long week rejections, whatever you like to call it. But basically the psychology behind this pattern is that price got pushed all the way up to this area here multiple times, but the sellers always come back in to push the price back down, showing us that this is a very like strong area, right? There is a lot of sellers at this area. And then look at the next candlestick, it gave us a big fat red candlestick, which tell us that there is a lot of selling pressure right now. This retracement is done and we're gonna go back down, baby. So those are the four patterns that you must look out for before entering into your trade. Now, let me show you how this entire break and retest strategy works. So this is clearly an uptrend because price is making your higher highs and higher lows. So right here, price has just broken the previous structural high, which is right here. This is the last structural high. This is the last higher high. And price has just broke through it. And right now, we're going to wait for price to come back down to retest it, right? So this is the structural high right here. And right now, we are waiting for the market to come back down to retest this structural high. So it still waits. So you can see like, wait, 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 wait. And right here, somewhere right around here, we see a doji candlestick, guys. This doji candlestick right here show us that there is indecision in this market, which tell us that maybe this exhaustion phase, this little retracement, this pullback might be ending and the market might go up now. And then look at the next candle. The next candle is literally a big, fat, juicy green candlestick, which show us that there is a lot of buying pressure at this market and it's gonna push the price back up. So I'll enter for a buy position right here and I'll place my stop loss below this key level that we have drawn right here. Place my take profit at three times my stop loss, three times. So three times will be all the way up here. And look at how this trade play out. Price went up and smashed our take profit. Now, I believe that you all have one question in mind. Why didn't I enter right here instead the first time that price come back down to retest this area? I want you to remember, do not enter for the trade when you first identify the pattern right here. You want to wait for price to come back down to this level to show you that this is a solid level and it is holding. And for those of you who have been trading for a while now, you will know that this is actually your double bottom pattern right here, which show us that price is failing to break past this level not once but twice which means that this is a very strong level and price is gonna go up now yep so basically once you see any one of those patterns and then you see price has officially come back to retest 
this level, your structural high, that is when you enter for the trade. If you still do not get it, let me show you another example. So this time round, price is in the downtrend and you can see price has just broken the structural low which is right here. This is your structural low because this was the lowest point before price starts retracing and now price has just broke through the structural low. Remember, you do not want to enter for or sell here yet because you want to wait for price to come back up to retest this structural low and then that is when you can enter for the trade. Rate. So we still wait and see what happens. Okay, you can see like price has come back down to retest this structural low and it has given us your multiple weak rejections, which is one of the patterns that we just discussed. So yeah, you can basically see that price is just rejecting this area right here. This just shows us that buyers try to push the price all the way up here, but failed miserably multiple times, which gave us this multiple weak rejections. So we still wait and you can see right here, price gave us a big fat red candlestick with a long upper wick right here which tell us that you know what price is not breaking past this level this retracement this mini retracement is done and we're going to continue to go back down so this is when i will enter for a sell so sell right here place my stop loss above this key level that we have drawn and then place my take profit at three times my stop loss three times guys all the way down here and let's look at how this trade play out right here baby we have just smashed our take profits so for the next example i'm just gonna do this unfiltered you can see that price has just been in a downtrend because price is making your lower highs and lower low so price has just broke past the structural low yup so the structural low is like somewhere right around here this is the lowest point the price went to so around this entire area is your structural low so we are waiting for price to come back up to retest this area so we still wait and you can see right here this is when price came back up all the way up here and it gave us a super long week candle which show us that buyers push the price all the way up here but failed. The sellers just come in and say hell no and push the price back down. So at this point of time, you could enter for a sell right here, somewhere right around here, enter for a sell here, place your stop loss above this key area that we have drawn right here, place your take profit at three times your stop loss, which could be all the way down here. And let's look at what price does next. So you can see price actually come back up to retest this same area and gave us multiple weak rejections once again. So at this point of time, you could have entered for another sell position right here. You could have entered for another sell position when it gave you some sort of confirmation like right here. Big bearish engulfing candlestick after multiple weak rejections enter for sell. Now you have two sell positions running to your take profit. Once again, place your take profit, same right here. And look at how this trade play out price absolutely collapsed and smash your take profit. You can see right here, price actually came back up here to retest this new structural low that is being formed and then gave us multiple weak rejections again. So you could have entered for another sell position right here, somewhere right around here and just take it down. So just repeat, rinse and repeat this strategy. But, but, but this strategy is not live. You are just bar replaying it. I'm going to be 100% honest with you and tell you that this strategy does not work all the time. Sometimes it does not work. Like example, when the market is going crazy, this strategy will not work. No strategy works all the time. For this break and retest strategy to work, you need to be patient and wait for this perfect trade setups and the market will reward you. But if you're just like anyhow trading and you just see price retested that level and there's no confirmation and you just enter for the trade, guess what? You're gonna lose because you were not patient enough to wait for confirmation. Literally no trading guru will be dishonest with you. They will all just tell you that, oh my God, just use my strategy. It works all the time. You will make millions. You know what? I will get so much more views if I tell you that this strategy works all the time, but I'm not. I'm choosing to be my authentic self because that's the point of this YouTube channel is so that I can be 100% transparent and honest with you boys, with you brothers and sisters. So make sure that you practice proper risk management and you will be profitable even if you lose half of the time. So if you want to learn more about price action strategy, you can check out this video right here where I literally review to you my trendline break strategy. Check out this video right here and smash on the like button if you enjoyed this video and click on that subscribe button. Welcome to the tribe and remember, you're just one trade away. Mwah.